Hello, welcome to Strategically Styled. My name is Lisa. I am a woman over 50, and this is a channel that is dedicated to helping you achieve your style goals. And to that end, today we're going to be talking about holiday looks, but plot twists, looks that do not involve the color red or the color green, mostly. But if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. I will ask if you are new here and you like the video, or even if you're old here and you like the video, please click the thumbs up and like the video. Click the subscribe button and join our community and click the notification bell so you will be notified when new content is uploaded. Also, it really helps my channel if you comment down below, just say hi and um, share the video with anyone who you think would be interested. So having said all that, let's get into my OOTD. It's not particularly festive. This is what I wore today to work. And I wore a thrifted blazer and thrifted skirt. I have a t-shirt on from JCPenney and these boots are old boots from DSW. And that is what I wore to work today. And this is one of those, um, hook and eye kind of closure thing so the struggle sometimes it's a struggle but that is my OOTD and I want to show you I got something new I I got got by Black Friday y'all now here's the thing Black Friday normally is just a day on the calendar it comes it goes and I don't pay it any mind but this year I don't know something happened and one of the things that got me on black friday was this little beauty this is a bag from obviously a brand called adisi let me turn it around oh my goodness the brand is called adisi they are an indian brand um it has an adjustable strap it is made of top green leather they are a sustainable company and it was on sale for i think i got it for like maybe 70 dollars but um i don't know what the cost is now if i can find out i'll link it or put it somewhere on the screen where you can see it but anyway i'm a huge fan of it i've done an actual review of this bag and i will link it somewhere where you can check it out if you want to know all the tea about my Adisi bag. This one is called Bianca. It is part of the 90 degree collection because of 90 degree angles. And you know, I'm not a math person, but this is the kind of math I can get with. So let me show you the bag, styling it with my OOTD. And yeah, so that is what is happening here. And it has that new leather smell. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Holiday looks. Um, maybe you don't like red and green. And here's the thing about red and green. Every shade of red and every shade of green is not for every complexion. It's just not. No matter who you are, there's probably very few people on the face of this earth, maybe some other planet, but people on this planet where every shade of red and green is flattering. And sometimes it's work to find just that right shade. And sometimes it's more work than you're prepared to invest. Maybe just for whatever reason, you just don't like red and green, any shade, anytime. What I would say is if you are in that first category of you just don't like red and green because you think it's to this, it's to that, take the time, see yourself as worthy to invest and just figuring out what shade of red and what shade of green works for you. Because I promise you, there is a shade that works for you. Full disclosure, I am a red and green girl. I love both colors. I love both colors simultaneously. I am all about the festive red and green. But everybody isn't. And sometimes it gets old. So here's the thing about not wearing red and green at the Christmas season or the holiday season, if you don't celebrate Christmas, is that if you are that person who goes to the office holiday party not wearing red and green, then it puts you in a position where you're more likely to stand out, whereas wearing it is a way to blend in. So being strategic and intentional about what's your end game here? Do you want to stand out? 
or do you want to blend in and just kind of, you know, go with the flow? So having said that, my first recommendation for a holiday look that is not red or green would be wear all white. Now, in my case, I don't have true white, but I have off white. So again, getting got by Black Friday, I am wearing this Banana Republic sweater. It's a cashmere sweater that I got. These mango faux leather pants. And they are both in like this off-white color. And those are some old boots that I got from Macy's many years ago. And let me just bring these in here to show you oh, the clear. So as you can see, they are like faux leather, but they're very soft. And um, they have a nice like bootleg cut which makes them good for wearing it with the boot that is my all white look and because it's not what you typically see I feel like white the winter is just the perfect time to embrace that just finding the fabrics that are the right weight for your climate wherever you are this season and I wore this to work on Monday and I will wear it again styling it with my Bianca bag so very pleased with that so here is another variation of that this is a turtleneck that I got from Macy's also getting got on Black Friday and wearing it with the skirt that I've had for years in these same off-white boots and um, that is another variation if I had if I didn't want to wear the pants and I wanted something just a little more dressy a little more formal so that is another variation of wearing all white or off-white just to look stunning this holiday season um and again sometimes white weirdly enough can be kind of like the red or green that some people in that really sheet of paper white it's too jarring for their complexion and they look a little better in a more of an ivory version as opposed to white white so again you do so my next suggestion is to just wear some sparkle and it does not have to be red or green now i just happen to have a little red sparkle floating around here that a uh, shirt that i thrifted some time ago but i have some other pieces this is something I thrifted before, and it is this sparkly twin set. It's the sleeveless top with the uh, sparkly cardigan, and it's kind of in a dark gray. But the sparkle is sparkling. So just putting on something sparkly just elevates the outfit and makes it just instantly festive and just a little more fun and this is something that I could wear either to work um, or if I was going someplace more formal after work I could go either way with that so that is uh, being a little sparkly um, this is also a top that I thrifted let me show you you've probably seen it in one of my little thrift hauls maybe last month and it has some gold threads going through it and again just more low-key but sparkly and fun um, that is one variation of this another variation is I have this silver turtleneck which I thrifted last year and this probably I think was 25 cents and you can get in there and see the uh, sparkliness and it's a turtleneck but it's not like a all the way up to your chin kind of turtleneck so um, I particularly love silver with blue and particularly navy blue it's just just gives me that festive feeling so here in a more casual way I'm wearing it with these pants which I thrifted these pants are Talbot barely boot pants the reason I thrifted these pants is I got a pair the same pants in burgundy from thread up last month and I've been looking for a pair of navy blue pants and after I got the burgundy pants I said that's it I need to find these pants in navy blue and I was fortunate to find a pair on Poshmark and so that 
is that. And then um, also same shirt with a skirt. And I am also wearing it with these Vince Camuto leather boots that I recently got from Walmart. Guys, don't sleep on Walmart because they may not have it out there on the shelves like that, but you go to their website, you're going to find all the things. And what I really like about specifically ordering from Walmart is in most communities, you will find here in the U.S. a physical Walmart store, meaning that if it doesn't work out, you can just very easily, if you have to return it, just drop it off at the store, coming or going from work or wherever, and just keep it moving without a whole lot of muss and fuss and packaging and doing all of the things. So that is the silver. I have found a similar shirt, not thrifted. So I feel like getting this one for 25 cents will offset the fact that I am paying full price for a brand new version of the shirt in gold which I ordered from a company I've never ordered from before. It is called Rose Chic. It has not arrived yet, so when it does, I'll let you know what's what and how I'm going to style it. So I'm really excited about having a gold shirt, um, not just for the holidays, but for, for as long as it's cold enough to wear sweaters. And so very excited about that. So adding some sparkle. Here's another version is, as you know, on this channel, we're all about our black sequin skirts. I have two, one in a shorter length and one in a longer length. This longer one I recently acquired from JCPenney and I am wearing it with a thrifted velvet blazer and that same Macy turtleneck and these um, Vince Camuto boots. I did a short about these Vince Camuto boots, which I got from Walmart. As previously mentioned, getting got by Black Friday is real, guys. It's real. So, yeah. So, anyway, that is that. And quite frankly, I really prefer burgundy to red for winter. Um, I just think there's something rich about it. And it's just, it's thrilling. So, this is my look. Last weekend, I went to New Jersey to visit my dad, who just, his birthday was last Friday. He turned 93 years old, and this is what I wore. They had a little uh, celebration for him after service at his church last Sunday. And at that time, I wore it with these white boots, these ivory boots that I have mentioned previously, and that I got from Macy's a while ago, 2018, I'm going to say yes, 2018, December 2018, yes. You know how we all remember <laughs> when we got our boots, so yes. And then number three, just in contrast to the wear all white, wear all black, because black is just timeless and chic. And in a sea of red and green, it just actually makes you stand out and you'll actually be seen more. Now, sometimes people wear black because they want to blend in or fade into the backdrop, but go to uh, the holiday party in all black and all eyes on you. And the nice thing about wearing all white or all black is that anything you set against it just gives it that little pop. So here, this is a black sweater dress that I thrifted from Poshmark um, whenever last month. Yes, November. It was part of my wish list. And I was able to find one inexpensively, brand new with the tags on Poshmark. So wearing it, just wearing it. But um, also here, I'm showing you with these jeans. I did a little short about these jeans if you're interested and um, splurge or save because I have a Walmart $24 version of trouser jeans and then I have this uh, currently I believe they are 80 something dollars on Amazon 
from a brand NYDJ, I think. I'll put it here so you can see. So yes, anyway, just to make it a little more casual and perhaps a little warmer, depending on where you're going to be, what you're doing, I'm wearing this sweater dress over these jeans with my boots there. So that is another version. And then, of course, just wearing anything, but just adding subtle pops of red and green. Here's the red and green-ish with just some accessories. So maybe you have a bag that has a little red or some green in it. Maybe you have some earrings or a little brooch with a Christmas tree or scarf or just a little something so you're not overwhelmed by redness and greenness, but you can just kind of get just a little bit, just a little festive. And so those are my ideas about holiday looks that do not center around wearing all red and or green. So that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below. Are you a red and green at the holidays person or are you nah? Nah, not at all. Comment down below. Thank you again for watching and until we meet again, I hope your day is blessed and stylish.